Hey guys, today we're playing Spider-Man for the PlayStation 1. I'm pl using the PlayStation 3 to play the PlayStation 1. Usually, if I'm playing a PlayStation 1 game, just assume I'm playing on the PlayStation 3. I don't even know if I own a PlayStation 1 anymore. Because the PlayStation 2 plays PlayStation 1 games. Sometimes better than the PlayStation 3 because it has that smoothing feature. But anyway, this is one of the first decent Spider-Man games that came out in a long time. Uh, to my memory, it doesn't hold up that well, but we'll see. But there's a lot of stuff in this game that was cool at the time. One thing I liked about collecting things in this game, you could collect comic covers and alternate um costume sorry Parker's alter ego, the amazing spider-man this is also available on the PC although I don't know what operating system it was compatible with and the Nintendo 64 and the Dreamcast I I would say the Dreamcast is probably the best version of this game the spider-man actually has individual fingers in that version and the black cat actually wears a mask for some reason she doesn't wear one in this and that's really weird because she always wore a mask but that's nerd talk talking now Nintendo 64 is the worst look kid mode that's ridiculous kid mode basically does everything for you we're gonna play on normal um yeah but I tried this on the Nintendo 64 and the controls are actually some of the worst I've ever tried to play playing a game so if you can play it on the PC, Dreamcast, or PlayStation, there is a sequel. I think that only came out on PlayStation, and it was just called Spider-Man 2 Electro something. I can't remember. This is jamming up because my disc is scratched, which is fantastic if this just froze on me. Thank goodness we got out of that. So there, there's these made up covers. This is made by Neversoft, the same people who started to make the Tony Hawk games. Welcome, true believers and newcomers alike. I think they quit right before they made, made the again, Tony Hawk's ride world. games with the plastic the skateboard. The I have the first one. I haven't spent this much time even trying and attempt it, so I can't really tell you whether it works well for me or not. I got it super cheap. I can't believe that thing costs like a hundred dollars. I think I got it for twenty or thirty dollars. The game and the skateboard, brand new, not even used. So as you can see, they use the excuse of Doctor Octopus's fog. What's going on? Look how stupid that is. The black cat doesn't have her mask on. That it just doesn't make any sense. And I know it doesn't make sense because on the Dreamcast version she does have a mask, so they obviously knew that they made a mistake. This uses the analog control, um, doesn't utilize the right stick for camera movement, which I'm used to playing, playing, um, newer games. I think even the PlayStation, um, 2, most of their games and Spider-Man games use it. I want to look up, but forgot what button does what knew that does that triangle shoots web that's kicks oh inverted camera controls for his little web spinner can I change that no you may not so you gotta push L2 to swing across this game looks way better when the PlayStation 2 has the smoothed out mode This is one of the Spider-Man games where you can run out of web fluid. Now, that can be annoying, but unless it's based on the movie, that's actually accurate to the comic book. Oh, and by the way, this is actually based on the original run of comic books before they had 10 million launches. I don't even know what's going on in Spider-Man's world. Last time I heard, he got killed and Dr. Octopus took his powers. Oh my gosh, it sounds ridiculous. The storylines are kind of nuts. There were good Spider-Man storylines. 
like the death of Gwen Stacy and stuff like that, and then they'd have stupid ones where he teams up with Howard the Duck. So that's the thing about comics. Sometimes you get a really good story, and then sometimes you get a ridiculous one. So for quote unquote story purposes, since I skipped it because my disc is scratched, because I I actually just found this game when I was organizing my music CDs. Forgot I had it. But um. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a Fantastic Fours building. You don't have the control you have in Spider-Man 2, on the movie version on the PlayStation 2. There's Spider-Man 2 on the PlayStation that's a lot like this one. There's actually ground levels. This one doesn't have any ground levels. But, um, yeah. The fox is supposed to be for story purposes, but it's really because the PlayStation can't render a building and a ground at the same time that you're able to visit. Now this cutscene looks like it uses the game's assets. But I guess cutscene quality, because I guess the game couldn't handle all that in-engine. Because Hideo Kojima, I guess, wasn't making the cutscenes for this because... He pretty much made anything possible on any PlayStation system. I, I want to see what the Fox engine truck. looks like on PlayStation yeah, 3. Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. I don't trust you without your mask. I'm already at full health. But look, the analog Her. controls on this are He's atrocious. After this, I believe I have one more Spider-Man game that I own on the... Uh, well, I have a few more I can show you, but I have one more modern-ish Spider-Man game to show you. When I say modern-ish, this is probably the oldest of the contemporary systems I have. But I have one more contemporary Spider-Man game I can show you. When that'll be, I don't know. I bet I can get into the bank through the top of this building. Captain's right. It's the Jade Syndicate. That's those helicopters look mighty futuristic. And I think that's just because they made them slow because they didn't want to render it. Unless with me, I have box hands. Spider Man has weird powers where he can make his hands in the web fists. Apparently, they thought that was cool. Think that Still they'd be right. able to come up with better ideas, but that's the best they could do. At the time, though, I absolutely loved this game, and I thought it was the best Spider game, Spider-Man game ever. There's a Game Boy Color version that I had that came out around the same time that was actually pretty good. A lot harder than this one, though. I could beat oh, this I one. I couldn't beat the Game Boy Color one. This level is fun in theory but really hard because of the um, the camera angles 3D games were kind of still fairly new hey, looks like I've got uh, and I can't imagine trying to program a camera system for Spider-Man that's why I want to move around the right analog stick so bad and I can't See what you guys are up to. You gotta save hostages on this, but I can't remember if they shoot the hostages if they see you. And if they do, it's probably terribly rendered. Do have hostages. I pushed the wrong button. Looks like that room there controls the security doors. Find a way into the room. There's gotta be 
Okay. So that means we have to go through a ventilation shaft since there's a thingy up there. Or down there. A uh, grate. That signifies that there's a ventilation shaft. Surprising how much you remember from memory. Oh, you're so pathetic. Another one taken down by you're probably not the bad guy, I mean Spider-Man. He's stuck in that really angular looking webbing. Let me align the camera so I can push this button. It actually looks like the font from the TV show The Office. Well, he is escaped. I hope he doesn't get shot. More than likely, he will. Yeah, something bad will happen. Ugh, my web balls. I think you fight Scorpion this level. I can't remember though. This actually runs on the Tony Hawk Pro Skater engine, if you can believe it. What am I going towards? I gotta remember, there's a L1. If you tap L1, it'll go behind them. For any of those of you who are planning on the play of this game on the PlayStation. It's not a bad looking game for the time at all, but it's just very uh, new territory, so there's only so much you can expect. It's upsetting that they didn't draw his webs on, on his outfit, but the resolution so low. I imagine it'd be difficult, but on the sequel to this game on PlayStation, he does have webs on his costume so I guess they were capable of doing it. This game got pretty high review scores but um, help me. I wish the hostage would stay there so you know he doesn't get shot. would you try to shoot him? He's just so nice. You know that red would interfere with his wardrobe choice. Mind if I drop in? I'm not even attempting to be funny in this video. Why try? I actually talk this retarded in real life. Spider sense going crazy. Yeah, it's letting me know that the camera angles are atrocious. Come on. Oh, yeah. Out of all the versions, though, oh, I more would suggest the Dreamcast version over everything. Really careful here. <sighs> this, I think this is the part I remember. I just has some part in my memory of. One of these things being super difficult. I don't remember which part. Has to be a way to get in there. You're messing with us. Start the timer on the bomb. Oh man, he looks so good up close. Come on. I don't care about my well-being. Just don't shoot the, the hostages, have been taken please. Care of, but what can I do about the bomb? Think, Spidey, think. Oh, that's. I probably should pick that up. Wish he could walk with a little bit more urgency. He's walking like he has to take a gigantic dump. And he 
doesn't want to shit his pants before he goes to the bathroom. Well, despite it being a bomb, we know that it's well made. My gold's probably gonna be melted. This looks like something from the 60s Batman TV show. You can go back in there or not. Do I have to do something to this? How do I close the door? There we go. I guess I wasn't close enough. Not this time, guys. Ugh. First try, not bad. Alright, that was Spider-Man for the PlayStation 1, also available on the Nintendo 64. I highly recommend you not getting that version if you want to play it. Either play it on the PlayStation 1 or Dreamcast. I imagine the uh, PC version is probably a pain in the ass to get the run this day and age. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Alright, take care. Bye.